had his workshop where he kept his tools down here. You can see from both sides, you can see inside. But if you see the border, When you do the math, there's no way he could have lifted or hoisted the weight of these blocks using, I don't care how many hoists that he had. That tripod is narrow at the top and wide at the bottom. At some point, the block had to come out of that tripod. And then how did he lift it higher than the tripod itself? So even though there's lots of logical, I can figure it out, good luck. There's not one other castle around the world anywhere. Do we think there's more than 100 years old? Well, he built it in 1936, this 1936. He built most of everything else in 1923. So yeah, there's a lot of things oh, in Most here. of it was built in one year? Or? Oh, this took 28 uh, years uh, to 20 build. Years. 28 years. So as you look around the castle, you can see everything is pretty level. Mm -hmm. Everything's very specific. There's order to everything that you're looking at. The one thing that we're looking at right here is to say there's no order to this. But there is order to this. It's positive and negative. And then you'll see it on the other side. It's exactly the opposite. So there's balance. He's showing okay. you sure. that nature has balance in everything. There's three shelves up, three shelves down. These shelves up or down, across, three shelves across, three shelves down and up. It's all very specific. It's not chaotic. It's very balanced. So as we walk this way, we can see Ed's cooker. cooker. It looks like it's in a triangular shape, but it's not. It's a square. And just as you walk by this, this is one of five stars or six stars that are here in the castle and this is the tip of it showing out. It aligns up with true north and we'll talk about that later. So if you come in and take a look, this is where Ed cooked his food. So if you come around and you look inside, you can see that there's a differential inside. Ed would... Does anybody barbecue? Anybody a barbecuer? Anybody used to barbecue? Yeah. So you see this pipe is pretty big, it flew in a lot of oxygen, so it would be very hot. It had to be very hot because that differential is pretty thick. Ed would open it up and put his food inside. He'd use this to pull it forward and then push it back in, cook his food, pull it back out by the chain, and he'd open it up and he would have food to eat. Which is the big thing? Hmm? There's a few things to see in this area. One, this is the largest heart table that there is in the whole world. It's originally, believe it or not, its new point is here. It comes up and around. It makes the heart. And it has another heart shape right in here. So okay. Valentine's Day is coming up, and we have our annual New Year vows for free when you come in for admission and a tour. We give you a beautiful certificate, chocolate-covered strawberries. We've been doing it for 20 years. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, we have like that golden box of old three bears. And we have a big chair and a little chair and little baby chairs. We also have the fire and the stars.
right here. There's the square. There's the rounded. There's the triangle. Bedroom, he can show you that he can make the beds. You have oh. the obelisk. You can see he moved this obelisk on pulled by a truck on a wagon. He hired a kid to drive the truck he borrowed from the farmer. And the farmer had like a it looked like a you know the little red wagons when you were a kid? He had a really big one. And he would pull that 10 miles from the original location to this location. It goes seven feet down in the ground. And it tells you exactly when he made it, when he was born, where he came from, and when he moved it. He says made in 1928. 28. And then it says he moved it in 1939, I want to say. Born in 1887, Lafayette Ed L. for Edward Lee Scalman. So that you knew that he made that. You didn't want anybody to forget or make a mistake or let anybody else take credit for that. He was very particular about it. to shave your face, you like to keep your nice your face nice and shaved. If you look down in here, I'll just take the little leaf out. You can see your face perfectly. Mm -hmm. and it's nice and water. Oh, I see it go with frizzy hair. <laughs> there you go. Ed also got his water in the morning from the swell. Okay. It's Ed's throne room, seven. And I don't know what he would say if he ever saw Instacart where you can order, <laughs> have food delivered to you or <laughs> cooked food delivered to you. That was quite amazing. There was a neighbor across the street that would bring Ed over cooked food because he would give her his ration tickets, which you could get flour and sugar for, which he had no use for. He would give it to uh, his neighbor and she'd bring him over some cooked food kind of worked perfect that way. She had three daughters. The three daughters came to visit about six years ago and we interviewed them. And they remembered oh, mom bringing cool. over some food for Ed. Mm. And they also remembered him hearing the sounds of him working. So mm. they said, oh, Ed's work tonight. This right here is the throne room. This is Ed's throne. It's very comfortable to sit in. Uh, it also was a rocker. I think every single chair in here is a rocker, but they've been sturdy. They don't move anymore. Uh, Ed, as I think some of you might have watched it, made that particular chair behind his throne, behind him, because he was king. You could see his castle. That was his mother-in-law chair. He didn't want anybody to get comfortable. If he got married, the mother-in-law would know. You could be here a day or two, but I know you're uncomfortable, so thank you for 
visiting. <laughs> right here is a, is a beautiful chair. You can see on the front part, we left it so you can see it was a rocker. It's the chair that Ed called the makeup chair. It's two chairs facing each other, but it's one piece. Yeah. You can rock it back and forth in the day and look at each other and remember why you felt in love with each other and make up. Okay. And that's why this chair was made. So Ed, even though he didn't really care for his future mother-in-law because it was his fault that he didn't get married, he still believed in love. So you can see this stone right here is the largest, most heaviest coral block that he has here. It weighs more than one of the stones from Giza in Egypt. That's made of sandstone and oolite is heavier. There's a circle right in the exact center. I don't know what it's for, I'm sure it helped to move it, but it is there if you're going to look for it. You can see it out on the other side. I'll show you what you can see. The sundial. And remember, for Ed, it was very important about work ethic. Ed started work at 9 o'clock in the morning, and he went all the way through to 4 o'clock in the afternoon because he was brought up to believe that a man's job is to work as, as hard as you should from nine to four. There's no breaks in here. At four o'clock, he stopped working, he would wash up, and at five o'clock, he'd sit down for dinner. Oh. I think some of us are old enough to remember that we were supposed to be in the house at five to eat. You know, that's the family time. That's the values. That's 1887 when he was born. When Ed made this, <coughs> changing the hour because we want to shop a little bit longer, well, that was never a thought in anybody's mind back then. So right here is a notch. There's no uh, sun, so you can't see that this keeps time to the exact minute. It tells you the time of the year, it tells you the time of the day, and it tells you the equinoxes. Okay. So right so, behind, the North Star. Oh, the North Star. Oh, you said the moon. Oh. I did. Oh, so the North Star. <laughs> you raise that, and make sure you know I said it's the North Star, which is true north. And you're saying that that moves a little bit throughout the year. That moves into the borders. And oh, wow. The and the star that was sticking up, don't forget I talked about that as well. Yes. Yes. Pretty that. much straight at it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Talking about this telescope. Wow. This telescope is set up for true north. It's straight up. <laughs> yeah. Star the top, yeah. in the upper right-hand corner, which is winter. Up. Below it. Up and left. All yep. of the rest of yep. it's like spring, summer, and fall. <laughs> at, at night, <coughs> look at it, baby. It's so at night, hmm? dead center on the cross up there. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So accurate, like the sundial falls as well, but there's no shadows. Yesterday was in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, the second, so I was like, there, there, there. Well, hopefully you'll get to see it again. Right here is the state of Florida. If you're standing right there, you're going to see about here. And that's Lake Okeechobee. Oh. That's Florida. Okay. Yeah. In proportion. Yeah. Hi, Walker. Huh? I'm 5'5", five five, but I'm sure I've shrunk an inch. So mm -hmm. for sure, this is too short for me. That'd be perfect. But, and these are very comfortable. They're, they won't pull your clothes or anything. So we're going to wa walk right this way. Nope. It looks like it. Good. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah. But in my lifetime that I've been here, I never saw it, and I never saw it in the old movies. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
it's perfect for me. My high, five feet. <laughs> you would enjoy it. <laughs> Very much so. So we're gonna walk right this way because Ed Ed loves Stonehenge. I thought it was like kind of funny that they should build a a column. Mm. So he did it to show that. Just like the ones in Stonehenge in England. in England. But Ed has a little bit extra. He doesn't want you to think it was that easy. So in 1923, we know he built this in Table. 